Hello everyone, I am Arul Mati. Today uh, we are going to discuss about Dolo's rule uh, with respect to evolution. Uh, in anthropology optional for UPSC mains. Uh, it can be asked either in uh, short notes type that is 10 mark question or it can be asked in 15 or 20 mark question combined with the uh, Gauss and uh, uh, other rules uh, of theory of evolution. So, Dolo rule how to write uh, an effective answer. Uh, first, you have to write the definition of this rule, the advocator of this rule and you can give certain examples uh, in different uh, uh, family, genera and species and you can uh, write uh, the reasons for irrevocability or irreversibility and if at all you want to give a diagram for this that you can give. And finally, the significance of this rule uh, in the theory of evolution and uh, criticism or exceptions to the rule. All these can be the uh, structure for your answer writing. Now coming to the Dolo rule. Uh, this Dolo rule was advocated by Louis Dolo, a Belgian paleontologist. He says that uh, evolutionary changes occurred over a period of time is irreversible and irrevocable. Uh, because uh, these changes are the product of uh, the environmental changes which had occurred over a period of time and the same environment cannot be uh, repeated. Uh, for example, uh, when we uh, see the jaw and dentition patterns, the size of our brain, uh, the teeth that we have lost, everything when we trace uh, from our ancestor, the, the earlier hominids from the modern uh, humans, uh, it is all like evolved and these cannot be repeated whatever we have because the functional and the structural specialization uh, have occurred and it is all progressive in nature. But uh, opposite to the evolutionary concept there is a concept called devolution which you can write it as a criticism because when the uh, environment uh, needs a particular change some of the species can uh, develop uh, uh, forms or molecular structure uh, similar to that of their ancestral one. For example, uh, the wings which has been lost in the reptiles, it evolved independently in bats and birds over a period of time because of their necessity or need uh, to survive. Uh, so this can be done. The same thing uh, happened uh, during uh, industrial revolution of England in the late 19th century. Uh, the air pollution was so high. Uh, then a peppered moth, uh, which is a dark colored moth, was a dominant moth over the period of time. Then when the air pollution got reversed and the air conditions became good, uh, the light colored moth uh, became a dominant moth over that period. These are all exemptions to this rule. But uh, this irreversibility, irre irrevocability can happen in two uh, uh, ways. One is in phylogenetic or in a physical structure it can happen or it can happen in the molecular level. Uh, for example, in earlier humans, uh, there was a enzyme uh, which is a gluconolactone oxidase. Uh, this is the enzyme uh, which produced the, uh, which synthesized the vitamin C in our body, which has been lost over the period of time, so that now we cannot synthesize our own vitamin C, we take vitamin C supplements. And in physical structure also, we can see uh, some of the changes in our fingers, um, in our dentition pattern and all, which cannot be uh, reversed because these changes are progressive in nature uh, and very useful. So, uh, these changes cannot be uh, reversed. So, you can just uh, write down all these points uh, when you write for uh, Dolo's rule and hope this will help you uh, in your UPSC preparation. Thank you.